Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free CompTIA A plus certification training course on laptop expansion devices. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to go through the requirements of our CompTIA A plus 22701, our essentials exam, section 1.10, where we need to install, configure, and optimize laptop components and features. And we're going to focus on the expansion devices of PCM CIA cards, PCI Express cards, and docking stations. Let's look at docking stations. If you've been using a laptop before, then you know that you can take it anywhere you'd like. But when you come back to your office or your home, you may have a larger monitor you like to use. You might want to use a full-size keyboard and a regular mouse. And if you've ever had the laptop and you've just set it on your desk, you know you have to plug in all of those things, plug in your network connection, plug in a wireless connection, plug in your monitor, plug in your keyboard and your mouse, and get all of those things in place. And then when you're ready to go back somewhere, you have to then manually unplug all of those things. With a docking station, you can plug everything into the back of the docking station and simply lay your laptop on top of it or interface your laptop to the docking station. And all of those things are always plugged in. It's very simple. You just lay the laptop on it, and it will automatically use your laptop's uh, video to send that video out to your big monitor, use your full-size keyboard, use your regular mouse, and you didn't have to unplug or replug anything. Sometimes you can even put full-size cards into some models of docking stations so you have some extensibility above and beyond what the laptop already gives you using a PCI card or a PCI Express card. Now these docking stations are very specific to models of laptops, so you can't take one single docking station and have it associated with every laptop you might have. You notice there's these very proprietary interfaces right here on this Dell docking station. So you can only plug in the Dell laptops that are specific to this Dell docking station. There's not a standard for docking station interface types. There are some very generic docking stations you can buy where you might be plugging into your laptop just with a USB connection. But generally, those don't send out any video signals. So it becomes a little more complicated. In those cases, you often see those referred to as port replicators. They're not real docking stations. They're simply replicating the ports to a standard bar that then on the back of that might have all of those interfaces. This is the back of that Dell docking station. And it's exactly the same interfaces as what you might have on your laptop. There is a modem connection, a LAN connection, an output to video via S-Video. Here's a, an out video, video outputs, multiple video outputs on the back. So if you're using DVI or you'd like to plug in via VGA or or you'd like to plug in via S-Video, it can all be done with the single docking station. There's also serial ports on it, keyboard and mouse, some parallel ports, some SPDIF ports for some audio and USB on here as well. And you have power all the way here on the left side. So you can plug in many things to the back of this docking station, and they're always plugged in. You never have to keep disconnecting and reconnecting those interfaces just to be able to use those external peripherals when you're at home. Laptops are becoming the de facto standard for our computing technologies. It seems more laptops these days are being sold than regular desktop computers. But one of the disadvantages you have in a laptop is there's nowhere to slide in a PCI Express card. You can't slide in a big PCI card. Those are just too large to be able to plug into a laptop device. You can't maintain that portability if you're taking those full-size interface cards and somehow plugging them into these devices. So on most laptops, there are expansion ports available, these little tiny slots where you can plug in some expansion to these. The ones that we started with in most laptops was an expansion type called PCMCIA. It uh, uh, stands for Personal Computer Memory Card International Association. It's a mouthful. And there are different types of PCMCIA cards, different thicknesses and different capabilities. We call those a 1, a 2, and a 3 type of PCMCIA card. We've changed the name of PCMCIA. You'll probably see it written these days as PC card, which makes a lot more sense when you're reading it. Nobody really understood what PCMCIA was. So this is a much more user-friendly name to call these cards. And you can even see some of the cards. This one's turned around, but you can read upside down, PC card. It even has the word PC card written on it now so that you can see what's there. There's also a type of expansion slot called card bus. Card bus and PC card are two different card types. They are not interchangeable. You cannot plug in a uh, card bus card into a PC card slot. Uh, although sometimes you can take 
PCMCIA cards and plug them into card bus slots. It depends on the laptop and the configuration and how it works. Sometimes card bus slots can only be used for card bus. You need to look at the capabilities for that particular manufacturer and see exactly what's there. The way that it determines whether you're able to plug those things in is with this view right here. These are those three cards we were just looking at. Not only are there different thicknesses on some of these cards, but you'll notice that these little notches are there to make sure that you could only slide a certain type of card into it. If we zoom up on that, you can see a little bit better. Those notches will allow or disallow a card from sliding into a slot. So that's just one of the ways that we make sure that if you're putting a card in, if it doesn't fit, then it's not going to work in that laptop. If it does fit, then it probably will work OK in that laptop. Obviously, you don't want to get to the final test of being able to slide it in and see. But sometimes that's a good sanity check to make sure that the card you have will slide in all the way properly into that laptop. So if you're sliding in a, a card, a, an expansion card into a slot, a laptop that's not fitting, don't force it. You're probably plugging in a card that's not compatible with that laptop. The latest kind of card format for our laptops to be able to provide expansion to those is something called ExpressCard. And there's two different kinds of ExpressCard. There's an ExpressCard 34 and an ExpressCard 54. And that represents the size, the width of those particular cards. The 34 millimeter card is a little bit smaller than the 54 millimeter card. And they're really designed to fit into laptops that are designed for different things. The 34 millimeter card, the Express Card 34, really has a tiny little slot associated with it. So we're seeing a lot more of those come out as our laptops get smaller and we want our expansion to also be these smaller devices that we might carry around becoming a very popular format. Notice the Express Card 54 fits into a slot, but at the end of it, where it's actually plugging into the motherboard or the expansion within the laptop is a very small expansion slot. So it's still only using a very small interface on the inside. It's just giving us a little bit more real estate on the card itself to be able to add more electronics. And for your more advanced functionality, you may need a little bit wider card to be able to do that. So these wide cards may not work if your laptop only provides you with Express Card 34. That's the only kind you can use. You can't plug in an Express Card 54. But you'll find as these newer laptops come out, you may have to update all of these expansion slots and expansion capabilities when you move laptops. Don't just think that you can move from a laptop and take your old card bus card and plug it in. You may now need to upgrade your expansion cards to the Express Card format. Let's see what we've learned about these expansion types, these adapter cards for our laptops. How can you add full-size adapter cards to a laptop system? Our laptops aren't very big. And if I have a full-size adapter card, it becomes a little bit more complicated. Certainly not something that fits into the laptop. We're going to need a docking station for that. We're going to need something that can extend the capabilities of our existing laptop so that we're able to take advantage of those full-size adapter cards. Our next question, what formerly named PCMCIA adapter type is used in those legacy laptop devices? Some people still call it PCMCIA, but the updated name for those is the PC card. And those are the PC card adapters that we would use. And the last question is, what is the latest laptop expansion adapter that comes in two sizes, a 34 millimeter and a 54 millimeter? We were just looking at those, and those would be the Express Card adapters. This covers what we needed to know for our laptop expansion devices section 1.10, where we needed to install, configure, and optimize PCMCIA cards, PCI Express cards, and docking stations themselves. If you'd like to watch any of our other videos, you'd like to participate in our message boards and much more, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com.